Hey Pisces, it's Sahara Stars with Illum Astrology doing your December mid-month tarot reading. I'm sorry I didn't get you guys in in the first part of December. I was so busy, so please forgive me. Um, so I'm going to do this for the second half of December. For those born under the sun, moon, or rising of Pisces, if, you, um, if this does not resonate, please check out your rising sign or your moon sign for your messages might be there. Um, these are general readings, so not always the, the signs that show up um, matter. I try to get as many different possibilities as possible um, for all of you, and hopefully this resonates. So please give me the most accurate messages for those born under the sun, moon, or rising of Pisces. What can they expect for the second half of December 2018? Pisces. Guardian angels, spirit guides, and spirit of truth, please give me the most accurate messages for Pisces. Okay, one more shuffle, Pisces, and then we'll get started. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so overseeing your reading. Current energies, recent past, further past, and coming up in the future. So underneath the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. This is a fire sign, sun, moon, or rising. Please keep in mind that you would have to know their birth time to know what their rising or their moon sign is. Um, but it doesn't have to be. It could also be you stepping into courage, passion, and going after what you want after coming out of a slower paced energy but let's take a look and see how this plays into the reading all right so overseeing your reading wow we got the prince of cups this is another water sign sun moon or rising cancer scorpio or pisces it could be a younger um, water sign but it does not have to be and if it's not that sign it is a love offer some of you have love on your mind some of you are expecting or wanting a love offer from somebody, and it could be a fire sign or a water sign, but it doesn't have to be. Like I said, it would be their sun, moon, or rising. They could be an earth sign or an um, air sign with a sun, moon, or rising and water or fire. Some of you might have a child that's a water sign on your mind or a younger water sign person, sun, moon, or rising. But it looks like you're getting a love offer. Let's take a look. And then we have a earth sign sun, moon, or rising, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Wow, you guys have all the different signs showing up, so this is going to apply to probably um, a few of you. Now, some of you could have started something in the past, a financial new start, a start to a new job. Some of you might have started something with an earth sign person or a water sign person. Some of you might have two options or three options of people that you're thinking about, okay? This is for some of you. It's not for all of you. Um, some of you, it could be just one of these signs that you're hoping to get a love offer from and it looks like it's coming. Um, or it could be emotional support coming from a new job. All right, so we have the Seven of Swords in the center. This is not necessarily the best card, but it's not necessarily bad because it does have a good context as well. And one of the good, good contexts is being stealth planning ahead, making proper plans, and being stealth and going about what it is you want. Now, for some of you, this could be a water sign, an earth sign, or a fire sign that's making plans to be with you. For some of you, this could be somebody that was sneaky or closed off in the heart, not expressing how they really feel, um, not expressing their true emotions here, okay? Um, but for some of you, it's somebody trying to be stealth to be with you, going through some stuff to try to make it work could be a fire earth or water sign sun moon or rising and in the recent past we have the two of swords which is having difficulty making a decision on which direction to go so for some of you this could be between it could be for some of you multiple different options in which you're not sure which way to go some of you might have two offers coming in um some of you might have been dealing with somebody that was sneaky or closed hearted not expressing who they um how they feel and you've been thinking about that and trying to decide on which direction to go. Some of you might be feeling stuck a little bit. Some of you might be feeling stuck. And then we got the five of pentacles. And this is feeling out in the cold or feeling like you're on your own. 
Um, it also could be a time of reflection, of thinking about things. And for some of you, it could be financial worries, okay? Um, I feel like some of you, this could be your partner that has been trying to figure out ways to make money to be with you. He's trying to be stealth to come across the money to come be with you. Some of you, it could be one of your partners or one of these people are having financial struggles and difficulty making a decision or making the first move, but it looks like a love offer is coming through here. Some of you might have felt like you were in the cold or that this person was not expressing their true feelings for you. This is going to be for some of you. Remember, if this does not resonate with you, please listen to your rising or your moon sign. Please tell me more about the Seven of Swords for Pisces, mid-December 2018. Seven of Swords for Pisces. Also, the Prince of Cups for Pisces, mid-December 2018. The Prince of Cups for Pisces. Also, the Five of Pentacles for Pisces, mid-December 2018. Please give me the most accurate messages, Spirit of Truth, for the Five of Pentacles for Pisces, December 2018. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple on the Queen of Wands. And the Prince of Pentacles. Okay. So let's take a look here. So we have the Queen of Cups. Wow, there's a lot of people showing up here. So some of you, this could be that you're waiting for an offer from a fire sign. Some of you, this is fire sign is very fond of you and has very strong feelings for you and wants to bring you emotional containment. Some of you are moving more into power and emotional fulfillment. It could be as a result of a love offer coming in. And this Prince of Pentacles has been working hard Working hard, and some of you, this is an engagement card, some of you might have an earth sign proposing to you. Some of you could be a water sign, a fire sign. <laughs> All the signs are here, you guys. Let's take a look. Okay, then we have the star card in reverse. So some of you were hoping for something that was a wish fulfillment that is on delay right now, okay? And it could be because somebody's trying to work on the details to make this work in the stealth version. For some of you, you were disappointed by somebody being untruthful with you and you're trying to heal from that situation and you've had difficulty making a decision about what to do next. And the Seven of Cups is somebody has been confused here and had some options or confused about their options, okay? And also just some confusion about what to do with this water sign, younger water sign. Now, this could also be a love offer coming in, but the person is confused or you're confused about the love offer coming in and you're not sure what to do about it, I see here as well. And we have the Six of Wands in reverse, and this is not getting the recognition that you want. Recognition at work, recognition from a relationship, and also along with that Five of Pentacles. For some of you, it was something has upset you or threw your balance off in the past. Um, somebody wasn't expressing how they truly felt and you felt alone and unappreciated. Yeah, and you're coming out of feeling exhausted, burnt out, and just tired. So you're no longer feeling that way, which is good because it's in the reverse. Can you tell me more about what's to come for the Ten of Swords in reverse for Pisces? Yeah, and there's been coming out of feeling betrayed. Okay, so I'm seeing multiple stories here. Some of you are going to be moving into emotional containment and going to have a love offer and a committed a commitment, um, a stable commitment, and perhaps even for some of you, an engagement, or some of you may have already in the past got engaged. Some of you are dealing with somebody, and it could be work friends or somebody that wasn't being honest, truthful, or expressing the way they feel, and it left you feeling in the cold. It left you feeling unappreciated, exhausted, and stressed out and you're waiting for an apology and the apology looks like it's coming so and then you're going to have some sort of money offer coming to you and this could be also be some but it could be regarding a job some of you may have left your job because it was stressing you out you were feeling unappreciated you weren't getting recognized and then you're going to be moving into abundance so there's a new opportunity coming that's going to be financially rewarding, okay? So for those of you that were looking for a job, there's a new job coming for you. 
and it's going to be a good offer that's going to leave you feeling really abundant. Some of you might be getting an apology from somebody that upset you, wasn't making you feel fulfilled, or left you feeling out in the cold. Now, this could be regarding a work job, a job, and it also could be regarding a relationship, okay? And for some of you, it could be with a water, an earth, a fire sign, or an air sign, Aquarius. Um, but it looks like you're going to be getting this offer. And some of you, you're be getting an apology. And for some of you, you're con considering an offer, but you're confused about it. Okay. And some of you are going to be getting engaged to a earth sign or a water sign or a fire sign, um, or making a stable commitment with that person. And some of you were having, hoping something would come true and there has been some sneakiness. Okay. Or somebody's trying hard to make your dreams come true and just hasn't been able to do so right now. Wow. Um, those of you that are dealing with a fire sign, it looks like they have a lot of love for you. You're going to be getting an offer from them. Um, can you tell me more about the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups for Pisces? Yeah, this is an... Those of you involved with a, a sun, moon, or rising, fire or water, there's a new love offer coming. There's a lot of love between the two of you, okay? There's a lot of love. It could be an earth sign and it could be um, a water sign or a fire sign, um, but it could be any sign because these are sun, moon, or rising, okay? So regardless, if you're involved in a relationship with somebody that really loves you, there's a new offer coming through. It looks like an engagement too. An engagement and a solid commit, committed offer going on here. And then I see another group of people that actually were hurt, left out in the cold, weren't being appreciated, totally exhausted, waiting for that apology, and it's coming. And then there's also a work opportunity or money offer coming to you. So there's some good and bad mixture going on here, but it looks like either way it's going to turn out really well. Um, let's see if we can get some advice cards for those born under the sun, moon, or rising of Pisces. So you got soaring into joy. Childlike wonder fills my life. So it looks like the middle of this month, the, the second half of this month, you're going to be moving out of something. For those of you that have been in a negative situation, um, you're going to be moving into something more positive and happy. Some of you are going to be getting a proposal and soaring into that joy. Some of you are making a solid commitment with somebody. And I see you moving into more passion and romance a lot of romance and a lot of love going on in there and then you guys got launching your journey yeah so some of you are soaring into joy launching your journey moving into a solid committed relationship um, the betrayal could have been a family a friend somebody at work anything like that or it could have been with a relationship um, or somebody not expressing themselves that left you feeling out in the cold for some of you. Okay, there's like two stories going on here. Um, but you're going to be getting an apology. Um, and then an offer of money and feeling abundant. Soaring into joy and launching your journey. Let's see what kind of general universe card we can get for you guys. For those born under the sun, moon, or rising of Pisces. Okay, we got memories, cherish memories of loved ones. These are just general messages, Pisces. You guys are good about cherishing memories. You guys are romantic and sweet. Let's see what else we got for Pisces. And we got choices. Make the best choices. I do see some choices going on for some of you. So whoever that this message is for, make the right choice, okay? Because it seems some difficulty making a choice and there's some options there. Um, there's some confusion surrounding an offer, a love offer. But for some of you, you're pretty sure about what's going on here. And there's a commitment coming. And um, for those of you that it applies, there looks like there's an apology coming from somebody that betrayed you or somehow hurt your feelings or didn't follow through on something or you weren't getting the recognition and then there's a new job offer or money offer coming that's going to leave you feeling abundant let's see what else we have for pisces love message from my whispers of love for pisces 
You guys got like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. All right, love the ones that you love. Love those that love you. Um, let's see what else we have for Pisces. Okay. We got back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. So some of you are going to be making a decision about somebody. Some of you have somebody that truly loves you and is going to be making you a love offer. And some of you are confused about a love op offer <laughs> that's coming through. Um, and you're not sure what to do about it. So think things through and make the right choice. Okay. Um, and go back to what you love. And also some of you will be getting an apology and something's going to rectify here. So it looks really good for you guys. All right. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did give it a thumbs up, if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to click the bell. Um, if you'd like your own personal reading, you can visit my site at www.illumastrology.com. And you can read all about astrology there. Also, I write all about it. I hope you guys had an awesome first half of December. Please do check back for your January. All right, I'm sending you guys lots of love. Big hugs for all the best. Thanks for joining me.